Hello, welcome back to the series on Catholic women. My name is Jenny, and today we'll be talking about Sister Mary Kenneth Kenner Keller. Sister Mary Kenneth Keller was born on December 17th in 1913 in Cleveland, Ohio. When she was 18, she joined the Sisters of Charity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Eight years later, she professed solemn vows with the order. While in her habit, she received a bachelor's degree in mathematics and a master's degree in mathematics and physics from DePaul University. Discovering that she had a gift and a passion for computers, Sister Mary Keller went on to get a PhD from the University of Wisconsin. Her doctoral thesis was called Inductive Inference on Computer-Generated Patterns. She, along with another man who graduated in the same year, was the first person in the world to get a PhD in computer sciences. After graduating with her PhD, Sister Mary Kenneth Keller founded the Computer Science Department at Clark University, Iowa, where she taught and worked for several years. This department was specifically designed to help equal access to computers. Her driving mission was equal access to computers for all. She is quoted as saying, we're having an information explosion and it's certainly obvious that information is of no use unless it's available to all. She was an early advocate of expanding the use of computer technology to education, especially in smaller colleges and universities and rural colleges and universities that had fewer access to resources. She wrote and published several books on this subject. She also viewed computers and computer sciences as a way to evangelization. She understood that things in the world were changing, that we were getting new forms of media, and that it was important for the Catholic Church to be involved with this. Often when we picture a Catholic nun, we don't picture somebody who's particularly tech savvy. However, Sister Mary Kenneth Keller shows us that a Catholic nun, a sister, or a Catholic in general could look like anybody. We all have different talents, different gifts that we bring. And as long as we use these gifts and these talents to serve the Lord, as long as we do everything as a sacrifice for Him, then we can truly live out our true potential as Catholic children of God. Thank you for joining us.